The summer of discontent in Belarus is heating up. With hundreds on the streets of the capital Minsk and several other cities clapping, chanting, demanding to be heard. They say that in my country I don't have a name, word or voice. I feel like I'm just not here. So I decided to come out and show everyone that I exist. I have a voice. That these are all my people, my neighbours, brothers, sisters and we exist. Soon though there were more police than protesters and many were arrested. It's been a similar scene for months with anger against the government's response to the coronavirus, the economy and the growing crackdown on dissent before next month's presidential election. We couldn't just stay at home. I think the more people who come out to these marches in solidarity, the better it is for everyone. On Tuesday, the Electoral Commission barred two of the main opposition candidates from standing. One is Valery Tsipkalo, a former ambassador, who was rejected after signatures supporting him were deemed invalid. The other is Viktor Babariko, seen as the biggest rival to a sixth term by President Alexander Lukashenko. The banker was detained last month, accused of money laundering. Election administrators say that's why he was excluded. Today we were spat in the face and they tried to take away our future and our hope. They're waiting for the end of the struggle, but they don't understand that it's now that everything begins. Many of President Lukashenko's rivals are either in jail or under investigation. But some have been allowed to run. One is the wife of another detained opposition candidate, who used to call Lukashenko a cockroach. Despite the insults, the president's victory is almost certain. He's already spent 26 years in power. The US once dubbed him the last dictator in Europe. Alexander Lukashenko got frightened and he wanted to prevent any even single slightest chance for political change in Belarus. That's why he reacted so harshly, did not register candidates, and police brutally dispersed the crowd. Lukashenko has dismissed the protesters as criminal gangs, but critics say he's never faced unrest like this, and many here argue they are less afraid of detention than another five years of Lukashenko rule. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.